Hi, I'm Beth Crom, and I'm happy to be here today with my father, Herb Weinstein, and we're here to wish every father in America a happy Father's Day. People sometimes ask me, uh, uh, you must be proud of Beth, and uh, my answer is, of course. Uh, I've been proud of Beth since she was born, and she's given us lots of reasons to be proud of her. The qualities that have made her successful in politics are the qualities she has always had. Uh, she's got a dazzling personality. She's got a smile that lights up every room she's in. She's got honesty, integrity, but maybe most important in terms of the kind of person she is, she has empathy. Uh, I think you worked a couple of years at a summer camp for blind children. Mm -hmm. That led to her interest in special education. She majored in that in college. She has always been in the forefront of thinking about the welfare of other people not necessarily herself. My dad had an unusual career. He was an anchorman on television in Buffalo, New York for more than 30 years. And I tell people, when I was growing up, if I wanted to see my father, I had to watch the news. Those were very turbulent times in America, a lot of things happening. I remember those events, the Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement, the Women's Rights Movement. There was a lot going on. And I think because of my father, because we were encouraged to think for ourselves, to talk about the issues of the day. I became aware at a very early age that uh, the world was much larger than our small community or our state or even our country. People will sometimes say to me, people who know I was in broadcasting, uh, well, it's easy to see where Beth gets her communication skills. And I say in all honesty, compared to Beth, I'm a mute. But what do you really think, Beth? But here's what I really think. I really think you're a terrific person, Beth. You're a terrific person, and I can't wait until you're elected to Congress. Well, having spent 20 years having to turn on the news to see you, it seems only fair that you should have to turn on the two standards we need. <laughs> Good, fair enough.